Hello YouTube. Today we are going to be learning how to make a TikTok using Premiere Pro that looks something like this. Oh my god, he's nasty. What's his name? Alright, so we're going to open up Premiere Pro and we're going to create a new project. Okay, so what we're going to get started with is making a new sequence. So I'm going to go to new and sequence and how I record my VODs um, for TikTok is typically just pulling them straight from my stream on Twitch. So what I did is I downloaded clips from Twitch um, and how I record them is I do essentially a custom. So I'm going to pick a file type custom. I'm going to do 60 frames a second. Now how TikToks are is typical 1080p resolution is 1920 by 1080. We're actually going to flip this to 1080 by 1920. And that's going to give us the TikTok format as far as how it looks. From here in settings, square pixels looks fine, 60 is fine. Everything else looks okay. I'm actually going to do maximum render quality. Call this. TikTok. Okay. So now what we're going to want to do is we're going to actually want to drag in our files. So I'm just going to open up the project part here. And I actually have my files all ready to go. Um, so what I will do is I will drag these over. So I have my clip and I actually have a Twitch overlay as well um, that looks like this. I'm actually going to link a video in the description on how to make this. I just don't have enough time to do it in this video or else it'd be a really long video. Okay, so once I've added the clip to source, um, you can cut it here if you want to or shorten it. In this particular case, this clip is already cut, so I don't need to make any changes. And what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to drag over just the video file and I'll put the audio file on the bottom here. So that way it's in place. And then this video file, I'm actually going to copy and paste it on my timeline twice. And from here, I'm going to be able to change essentially how everything looks. So the first clip, I'm going to double click it, double click the video. And I'm just going to resize this one. So this is going to be the clip at the very back. So we're actually going to blur this one out. So what you want to do to make this blurred out is you're going to go to effect controls and click effects. And we're just going to type in blur here and we're going to add the camera blur to it. So what that's going to do is it's going to be our nice little background. The second clip, this clip is actually going to be the gameplay footage. So you're going to want to play around a bit with this. Um, I typically like my gameplay footage to be about this size, give or take. And I'm just going to move it down just a little bit. There we go. So this will be my gameplay footage. And I'm going to put that over top of the previous one. So now we have the gameplay footage. Boom. And then the final clip this one here. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to resize it and we're going to crop the video out. So just for my face cam. So how to crop is we're actually going to search over in effects here and we're going to search crop and we're going to drag the crop over to this clip. Now right away you'll see that this is changed. So under the crop section what we can do is we can actually drag the left crop. You just want to drag it over to crop your video. Now the bottom, I'm going to crop, bring it up to where you want it. And same with the top. Crop it down. And then this, we can reposition the actual clip. And we'll move it about there for now. And once again, we can drag this over top. 
So now we have the start of a decent looking video. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and crop this just a bit more, get rid of this extra space here. Um, so let's just do that. I'm just gonna go right to my face. I'll do that. Now, the big part is just repositioning the clips in a way that you like them, also resizing. So, make it about that size. And then the gameplay footage, I think I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller. Boom. And lastly, just to top this all off, I'm actually gonna add in my Twitch overlay. And like I said, you can get the link for this in the description. So I'm gonna go back to my project, drag this over. And now I'm just gonna reposition this somewhere. I'll put it in the bottom for now. Note that if you are putting things in the bottom, this is where the description is gonna be on the video. So it might not show very clearly. In a lot of cases, if you want it to show more clearly, you can actually put it more in the top like this, and then I'll move my actual video. This way you might be able to see it a bit more clearly. Perfect. Okay. So the big thing here is I want to caption essentially what he says. So what we're going to do is we're going to add titles in here. So what we're going to do is we're going to click at the top of your bars and click graphics. And this is going to give you a ton of different options here. Um, so typically what I like to do is I like to use a basic title and I'm just going to drag this over on top and now we can edit our title. So mm, I'll highlight it, change the font to what you want to see. There, this will work. So now to make this writing pop a little bit more. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to add a stroke and I'm going to make it just a nice red, nice bright red. And at the gate, you're not really going to be able to see the stroke. So I'm actually going to up this to a five to see what it looks like. And now it's popping a little bit. I might even go up to a seven and we'll see how that looks even more. You're gonna want to play around with this number until it's where you like it to be. Um, a 10 looks okay. So now we're gonna to want to reposition this. Perfect. Now we're gonna to want to play through and make sure that it matches. And I'm just gonna keep copying and pasting this clip into my timeline, drag it up. Now the second clip, we're obviously gonna wanna change it. Once again. And there we go. And that is how you make a TikTok for Warzone using Premiere Pro. Now, I also wanted to include a bit of an expert tip here. Um, 
so let's say that you want to keep making TikToks, which I'm assuming you do. You can use this as more or less a template. So what I mean by that is if we wanted to replicate the exact positioning of these clips, you can actually do that. So we'll just use this clip again to, to show an example. So I'm just going to add this clip to my timeline three times. You can pretend this is a new clip. And the audio. Oh. So what you can do with your effect controls here is you can copy the position of each clip and paste it in. And if you have the camera blur, you can kind of paste everything in that you need. Copy the crop, bring it over. Boom. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're just gonna to wanna to copy the motion. And then that way you can get your clip. Copy, paste, and now for clips moving forward, it's just going to work. So it's going to save you a lot of time editing down the road if you want to have all your TikToks follow the same formula. And if you have multiple clips, um, same thing. You can just copy and paste on each clip, and it's going to save you a lot of time down the road. So I hope that this video was helpful in how to make a TikTok for Warzone using Premiere Pro. If you can do me a solid and hit that subscribe button or hit that like button, it'd be greatly appreciated. And I will see you soon. Thanks so much.